Don't be scared of falling down no more So take me away Thanks for watching today's video. Like always, I'm going to start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer, which is my current favorite eyelid primer. I prefer this one instead of the Soft Ochre by MAC. And the eye palette that I'm going to use today is by The Bomb Cosmetics and it's called the Nude Beach Eyeshadow Palette. It's super pretty and I'm going to start with this nude shade and I'm just going to blend it all over in my crease. Now for my next shade, I'm going in with this orangey brown shade. And I'm going to blend this in my crease as well. Um, the blending brush that I'm using is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like not a super big blending brush, but also not a super tiny one. It's just perfect for the crease. And I slowly build this up by first apply a tiny amount on my brush and blend this. And when I feel like I have blended out enough, I'm going to apply a slight amount um, extra on my brush to intensify it. But first, just start with a tiny layer. So now I've picked up this flat blending brush and I'm going to first press this same shade in my outer V. And then I'm going to softly work it more towards my crease and blending it more upwards and also a little bit around the outer V to make it extra smoky. I'm not going for a super sharp cat eye kind of look. I just want it to look super smoky. So now I'm going in with this reddish shade. And I'm just going to blend this in my crease as well. I felt like my crease was a little bit more to the orangey, to the orangey side. Oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, I'm just basically going to blend this on top of it to kind of change the undertone of my crease. I don't know. I just wanted to use this shade. <laughs> I'm just using this as an excuse. So now I'm going in with my MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer in the number NC15. And I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. And this is just a simple trick to create a cut crease. Um, there are many ways to create a cut crease, but I feel like this one is the most easiest. Um, you just apply some shades in the crease and then you're going with concealer on top of your eyelid. And you make sure that you have a super tiny precise brush. So you can really create that round effect, which I think is super nice and easy. So yeah, I'm just going to do this and I'm not going all the way to the end. I'm keeping it a little bit more, um, just slightly more than the middle part, just as you can see. And um, this will create a sort of half cut crease. So now I'm going in with the shade Babe and I'm going to apply this in the inner corner to give it that extra pop. So now I'm going to use this Built shade, which is a soft gold bronzy shade. And I'm going to apply this in the middle part and also slightly on top of the built eyeshadow to make sure that those two shades melt together. And the brush that I'm using is a MAC 242. It's my favorite. Like I always say in my videos, it's just perfect. So now I'm going in with this shade Breathtaking. And this one is also going slightly in the middle part and then I'm going more towards my outer V. Um, but with shimmer shades, it's just easy to softly Blend them a little bit on top of each other so the shades melt together. And of course I'm doing this on both sides. And you can really see that I created sort of ombre. I always really like this. So now I'm going in with the shade Bodacious. Bodacious, not sure how to pronounce. The same shade that I also blended in my crease. And now I'm going to sort of press and blend this in my outer V. And the brush that I'm using for this is the Morphe M506, one of my favorite brushes. I use it in all my videos together with the MAC 242. So now I'm going in with the De Balm Swing Black Liquid Liner. I remember using this product non-stop back in the days. I think it's in uh, all my first videos that I ever uploaded on my YouTube channel. But yeah, I just stopped using it because my liquid liner was empty. So I started using different brands. 
um, but yeah this is a really nice liquid liner it has a super precise tip but some of them are kind of not hard if you mean know what I mean this one stays hard and it doesn't move with your lid so it's easier to work with and to work a little bit more precise if you know what I mean so yeah it's super nice I'm happy to use it again and um, first I applied a line above my lash line this is always the first step I do and then I'm going to create the line of my cat wing and when I have done this at one side of my eye I'm also going to do this at the other eye to make sure that the line is equal on both sides and then eventually I'm going to create the cat wing by filling them in and yeah that's basically how I do my cat wing <laughs> So now I'm going back in with that orangey brown shade, which I have also used for my crease. And I'm going to apply this underneath my lower lash line using a flat diviner brush. So I'm not sure what the brand is of the brush that I'm using right now, but I believe like every brand almost has a brush like this. I know Sigma has one and I believe that one is called the flat diviner. But yeah, just use something that you like. Um, and now I'm going to use a dose of colors pencil brush with that same orangey shade and I'm just going to blend everything out to create a more soft blended out effect. I don't want my lower lash line to be super harsh. So yeah, keep blending. So now I'm going in with the breathtaking eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this a little bit in the middle part and a bit more towards my inner corner just to give it more of a bronzy effect underneath the lower lash line as well. And for my inner corner, I'm going in with the Bave eyeshadow, same as I have applied um, on top of the eyelid. And as you can see, I'm blending it more, so it kind of connects with the eyeshadow on the eyelid. So now for my waterline, I'm going to use this Suifa Cosmetics Nude Eye Pencil. I have this pencil for such a long time. I believe I have used it in so many videos, but yeah, it's just a nice pencil. And whenever I use nude kind of brown eyeshadows, I always pop this in my waterline. It's really nice. So now I'm going to use the new The Balm Scuba Water Resistant Mascara, which is my current favorite. Um, some of you might know I'm obsessed with the MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara. And this one is so familiar, but I like it a bit more for my upper lashes. So yeah, that's a win-win. And it's waterproof, which is super nice. So I'm going to coat a thin layer on the upper lashes and a bit more on the lower lashes. Because for the upper lashes, I'm going in with lashes anyway. So it doesn't really matter as long as they are black. Now for my lashes, I'm going to use the Anytude Fluffy Lashes and use my code N for a discount. I will put a link in the description bar where you can get them. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tweezer to apply them. First, I always lean them on my own natural lashes. Then I try to stick one side uh, on the place where I apply my eyeliner. So right above my lash line. And then I do the same on the other side. I let it rest for like a few seconds and then I'm going to press my own natural lashes against the fake lashes using a tweezer. And at the end I'm using my fingers to make sure that it's pressed um, even better. And yeah, I just keep using that tweezer to press them against each other so it looks more natural. I just wanted to include that in this video because a lot of you are asking how I apply my lashes. So yeah, this is already the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm obsessed with the De Balm Cosmetics eye palette. I think it's amazing. The pigmentation is really nice. And if you want to see more videos with this palette, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. And if you want to get like up to date always with whenever I upload a new video. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys! Won't be scared of falling